Well, we're delighted to be joined by Darren Murphy. Darren, the manager spoke to us on Tuesday, Tuesday night after the Cliftonville game and made some suggestions that there was going to be some changes, but I don't think any of us foreseen that maybe Michael Roddy was going to be the only name on the team sheet that we would know. What, what's your assessment of today's performance from, from a much-changed Crusader side? First and foremost, you have to give all the young players a lot of credit today. You know, uh, they came in on Thursday night in training and, and then after the training session, and obviously, yes, yes, the first team squad and where it is and the players that you have fit and the players that you have available because obviously you've got the massive game coming up on Tuesday night away at Cliftonville in the, the semi-final of the European playoff. So as, as a club, you make a decision, you know, what's best for the club at that time. But it wasn't the fact of, you know, coming here and not putting in a performance. You know, once we'd seen the kids in the Thursday evening, I mean, you knew they could come here, they could compete. And, and they competed in the game for a long, long time. And, and two, two lapses of concentration is actually what cost them today. You know, it's a great ball in, but Glenn Torn, but they lose their runner and it's a header, free header at the back post. And then the second one is just a lack of concentration. And, and sometimes that comes through tiredness. And, you know, we've got to remember a lot of these boys had a very, very short pre-season. So to come in and put in the performance that they've done today was, was outstanding. 
How big is today of an occasion for these young lads that have come into the side and, and what can they learn from today? Well, what I said to the young boys up there after the game for me is go away from the game and assess where you were in the game and the level that you need to get to to play in the game when you look at the likes of a, a Shannon Clucas who's playing in the centre midfield for Glen Torn or the likes of a Caelan Moran who's, who's playing at the back. Our young players need to go away, watch the game back and then go and work on the individual stuff that they need to work on to make themselves better. What they've probably seen today is if they're good enough and they work hard and they're dedicated, there will be opportunities. And obviously for our supporters, a lot of supporters won't know the names of some of these young lads that were on display today, Darren, but what did you make? Or maybe individually, was there anybody maybe stood out or that you've worked with over the past week or so? Yeah, I think there's a lot of them stood out. And it's very, very difficult to, 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 to really name one. But if you you know, you know put me under a bit of pressure, Gavin, so <laughs> I will. I'll, I'll pick one. I thought Lewis Barr at left back was exceptional. You know, uh, a young boy that's come in. He obviously came from Green Island where we've got the connection with. And he's come in here today. And you know he's going in at left back, and he's competed. He got booked early on, and sometimes senior players even struggle to get through the rest of the game and still be able to compete. But he was able to do that right through it. And you look at look James Holland up front again, another young player, young Jeb Boyd who came on again. Then and we've obviously players in the team today. Like we have three players leaving tomorrow morning. I think the the head England with the Northern Ireland under seventeen squad, the likes of Jack Jack Patterson who was in there, who who was excellent as well. So it, it's it's been. A really good week for them. Uh, they've come to a really good f football club in Glen Torn, and uh, there's no better place to learn. And, and uh, hopefully, a lot of them have learnt a lot today. Looking forward, Darren, to Tuesday night. We, we said earlier, it's a there's a lot of stake in this game on Tuesday night, albeit it's only one part of the the jigsaw to, to get that European spot for football. But what do you make of going into this game, and how important will today be just for those first teamers to get that extra day's rest, maybe ahead of the, that game? Yeah, massive, massive game. You can't get away from that. And the games this year between Cliftonville and Crusaders have been very, very close affairs. They've they've been, you know nip and tuck the whole way so it'll be interesting to see you know obviously Cliftonville rested a few players today as well and Joe Gormley was back on the bench for the first time we obviously then have to come in on Monday evening and assess the injuries that we do have you know it, it's been well documented that we, we have a really long injury list and you know I uh, have to go credit to the, the staff all, all Suzanne, Brian the rest of the, the people that are doing all that work to try and get the players fit and ready for Tuesday evening which is going to be a mammoth game you know and it's going to be a very hard one to call and, and it's whichever team in semi-finals turns up and, and performs to the level and like all semi-finals you might need that wee bit of luck but you know, I'm, I'm confident that we can go to solitude on Tuesday evening and give it our best shot. Darren thank you very much for joining us today and good luck on Tuesday. No thank problem you. thank you.